Hello everyone, this is N. Purnima Deepthi working as an assistant professor in the department of ECE at MLR Institute of Technology. So, today's presentation is about how to interface TAC digital to analog converter with a 086 microprocessor. So, this video is a part of series microprocessors and microcontrollers. Coming to the overview of today's presentation, what is DAC, digital to analog converters? And here I will be discussing 0, 0800 DAC and how to interface this 0800 DAC with 8086 microprocessor and program to interface DAC with 8086 microprocessor. So, DAC is an acronym used for digital to analog converter. As I already told you that microprocessor work under the principle of digital processing. So, the data which microprocessor deals with all the binary values which is nothing but the digital data. So, if the microprocessor want to interface with the other peripheral devices like to control the analog devices, it should send the analog signal. So, as a digital processor, how it will send the analog signal? So, there comes the DAC. So, digital to analog converter is used there. So, it will take the output of microprocessor which is the digital data and by using 8255 PPA programmable peripheral interface this digital output from the microprocessor is fed as an input to the DAC so digital to analog converter and the output from the digital to analog converter is either the current or the voltage values so here uh, this is the need of DAC. So, to interface a DAC with 8086, uh, 8086 microprocessor. So, every, every DAC contains n number of inputs. Here, the inputs is the output of the microprocessor will fed back as an input to the this DAC circuit. So, every DAC contains n number of input lines and gives single output whether it is a analog voltage or whether it is a current as an output. So, to perform conversion, DAC requires a reference value. So, if uh, some DACs won't have reference value, so in that particular DACs, it will take the input voltage as the reference value and do the conversion. So, here if uh, for the n bit binary values, so if we are using 8, 8 bit DAC, so, if we are using 8 bit DAC like that. So, DAC resolution is given as the 1 by 2 power n into reference voltage. Suppose, let us consider one example that if we are uh, using 8 bit DAC, so it is having 8 bit input and it will give the output, single output, uh, either a current or the voltage. It totally depends upon the DAC we are using. And the reference voltage here is considered as 5 volts. Then the DAC resolution will be given as 1 by 2 power 8 because n is the 8. Here we are using 8 bit DAC and the reference voltage is 5 volts. So, in this particular case, the DAC resolution is 1 by 2 power 8 into 2 5 volts. And you can say that it is having 256 possible outcomes. So, out of 256 voltages, we can get one voltage as the output. So, if we are giving 8 bits as the input. So, this is about the DAC. Here, mainly DAC is classified into three categories. Current output DAC, voltage output DAC, multiplying type DAC. Here, current output DAC and voltage output DAC will give the outputs in the format of current and voltage respectively. So, while coming to the, if we want the voltage output in the uh, current output DAC, so there is an some uh, particular uh, op amp which converts this current output to the voltage output. One of uh, the example of this particular current output DAC is nothing but 0800 which we are learning in this presentation. So, here the third one multiplying type DAC provides the output which is the multiplication means product of the applied voltage with the reference sources, reference voltage. So, it will produce the output similar to the current output and the voltage output DACs. So, here we are discussing about the DAC DAC uh, digital to analog converter 0800. So, this DAC is a monolithic 8 bit as I already told you this is a 8 bit. So, the inputs of this particular DAC is 
8 bit so it will take 8 inputs and it will give one output either current or voltage so here in this particular case this 8 bit DAC that offers high speed and it is a current output type of DAC that means the output is of I voltage I out so current output so we need to get the if we need to get the voltage output we need to use op amp at that particular current output and we can able to find out the voltage output v naught so and uh, this particular DAC 0800 having the settling time around 100 milliseconds and the operating voltage is from range 4.5 to plus 18 volts the supply which we are giving here is a 5 volts or plus 12 volts you can give plus uh, 5 volts or up to 12 volts basically we will use the 5 volts and coming to the pin configuration of 0800 as i already told you that this is a 8 bit so it is having d0 to d7 as the digital input so here 4 in 4 bit and here 4 bit totally 8 bit inputs and the reference voltages will be given as this to uh, find out the output v output so here basically the output is i out and to convert we are using op amp and we will get the uh, v output v out at the interfacing circuit so this is all about the dac 0800 so coming to the interfacing of dac with 8086 so here we are using 0800 to uh, interface any peripheral devices input output peripheral devices to microprocessor so there will be one thing that we need to take consider as 8255 ppa the output the digital output of this pin so like you know the digital output of these pins will be connected as the inputs to 0800 DAC so here this 8 outputs from the 8086 will be connected to the 0800 here so the outputs which we are getting from the 8086 is can be treated as the outputs from the 8255 PPA. So, whatever the port you are using, basically we are using port. Suppose we are using port A0. So, up to port A0 to A7, this will be considered as an output port. This particular port will be used as an output port. This will be fed back as a input to 0800 and we will get the output I out. By using some op amp circuit, you can get V out also. So, this is how we will interface uh, 0800 to 8086 microprocessor. Coming to the program, first we need to uh, program the uh, 8255 PPA. So, to program, to set which port is used as output port or which port is used as a input port, we need to write the control word of 8255, uh, 8255 PPA. So, here it is a 8255 PPA. So, here uh, it is a 8 bit register control word register so the first bit will decide whether this 8255 is using as a bit set re uh, uh, register or input output mode so here we are using it as a input output mode so this we need to set it as 1 if we are using as a input output mode the d7 most significant bit of that particular register will be 1 if we are using it as a bsr mode bit set reset mode then it this particular most significant bit will be 0 so coming to the next one this will be the mode is uh, mode group a bits so to select the uh, mode here we usually take it as 0 0 mode and d4 port a here as i already told you we are using port a as a output so here we need to specifically keep it as 0 because if we keep it as 1 the port a will be using as a input port here the port a which we are using is a output port that's why you need to consider it as 0 remaining else this is the group b uh, group B mode bit. This is the this is the port C upper bit. This is the group B mode bit. This is the port C port B uh, input output bit, and this is the port C lower bit. So here you can take it as don't care conditions. Either you can take it as input output mode uh, input mode, or you can take it as output mode. Generally, we will consider it as all zeros. So that's why 
this is 8 and this is 0. That's why we need to load the controlled word of 8255 with 80H. So, coming to the programming, this is the programming to interface 0800. So, here this particular program will give the output of to generate the, here the program is to generate the write an assembly language program to generate triangular wave. As we all know that to generate triangular wave as this is the triangle wave, right? So, this is the triangle wave. The starting of the triangle wave always starts from two zeros and the maximum peak because here it is a 8-bit, uh, 8255 all the ports is an 8-bit port. So, maximum size of the 8-bit port is FF. So, from least number will be the 00. zero. From 00, zero to it need to reach FF and again it will need to decrement to 00. zero. Likewise, you can uh, find the triangular wave. So, to generate a triangular wave, first we need to set which port we are using as an output port. Here we are using port A as an output port. See, 80 is uh, as I already as you all know that you can't load da data directly to the port A. So, you need to use any uh, accumulator register. So, here AL is used to load 80H to the CWR code word register of 8255. Now, we have by using these two instructions, we have set that port A as an output port. Coming to the next one, we need to start the generation of the triangular wave from 00. So, here AL is loaded with 00 that will be given to the port A. So, now the port A is loaded with the value 00. So, uh, gradually it need to increase to FF. So, what is the instruction uh, which we are using here is the increment operation. So, one time increment operation it will increment to 00, zero will be increment to 0, 01. So, until how, uh, until which data it needs to stop until it if it reaches the FF. So, there is a comparison instruction. Compare AL data 0, 01 with FF. If it is equal, jump back. If it is equal, then the loop will be not doesn't satisfy and it will go to the next instruction. But 0, 01 is less than 0, 01 is less than FF. It is not equal to FF. So, it will get back to the again. So, again the instruction increment AL will perform. So, it will increment it to 2. Again the comparison instruction will work. It is not uh, equal. So, it will get back to the loop. This loop will exist until it 0, 0 port A will reaches FF. So, once after FD, FE incrementing to FF. Now, here, yes, comparison operation. If we are doing comparison operation between FF and FF, it is equal. So, this one is jump if below. So, it is equal, then this won't satisfy. So, it will get back to this one. So, if uh, the um, instruction, the wave reaches FF. So, from that onwards, it gradually need to decrease and it need to come to 0, 0. Again, the loop will be executed by using decrement operation here. So, and if it reaches FF, so decrement operation, it will decrease the given data um, by 1. So, again, it will reach to FE. So, uh, jump if above. So, back 1. So, it will execute this loop until it is equals to 0, 0. So, here the code ends. So, it, is, it will be repeated and and the triangular wave, continuous triangular wave will be produced. This is the interfacing diagram of a 0800 DAC. Here it will be the microprocessor 8086. So, the lower byte of the um, data lines will be giving the output to the 8255 PPI. So, here IOR input output read will be given to the RD bar of 8255 and IOWR input output write will be given to W bar of 8255. Here the port A we are using is PA0, PA1, PA2 until PA7. Here the output of the input, this output is fed back to the, fed back as input to the DAC digital. So, here it is always binary digits. So, digit D. It will be given as, here the reverse operation will be there. B8, B7, B6, binary data, B1. So, here this 
PA0 will be given to the B8 bit of DAC. So, here from here it will get the binary inputs and it will start the conversion and it will give the conversion output. Here you will get I output, current output. So, usually we need to get the voltage outputs. So, that is why here this particular op amp is used to convert this con corresponding current output and it will give the output as the voltage output. So, this is the reference uh, value we have given and this is VCC. It can be of plus 5 volts or plus 12 volts power supply. So, this is how we will interface 0800 to 8086 microprocessor. So, until now I have discussed about the DAC, why we need to interface DAC and how DAC circuits, uh, how DAC uh, are there, chips are there and 0800 DAC and how to interface, how to write the program to interface 0800 to 8086 microprocessor and corresponding interfacing diagram. Thank you.